footage flies by me. I got a strange fire, but you're too good for me. If I stepped up and said hi, you might ignore me. No liver, so I stand down and play the back. Okay. Looking like a shaky body, swirling around, feeling like the far side. She passing me by. Okay. I couldn't even look her in the eye, but I ain't trying to think of her. Yeah, hip hop parents. So you come out tonight. I'm here for you guys tonight. Let's discuss. Start the movement. Okay. I'm looking in her pretty eyes. I've been following you. And I see my move, your body smooth, skin soft, incredible. Got the ebony, long shell, looking edible. Kind of complex, but I'm a figure. It's pretty high. Don't watch you walk out. We don't have to go out. We can lounge this or two. Most night. Oh, Sangare, got you feeling African soul. To lay to hands of swine, the earth runs in a hole. If I'm moving too fast, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay. Let's talk more. Your pretty eyes, I explore. My African queen, you was made without a flaw. And I'm sure you're not aware. What you do when you walk in the place with your natural hair too Every man near you struggles for a rare view You're my black goddess, I will never share you All right, all right, all right, all right All right, tonight, um, I'm here tonight to talk about um, What is happening in, to the culture in Nigeria What is happening to hip-hop uh, A lot of you guys don't know me um, I knew some of those guys as well if you have been, if you, if you are on my uh, Facebook, if you're on my social media, you have you might know some of those things that I talk about people. Okay, why am I home tonight? Uh, there's this writer that come out today, um, and this deal directly with what is happening with the hip hop scene, not only hip hop scene, an entrepreneur generally. Uh, to me, the life of a rapper in Nigeria is very, very, very synonymous to the right of life of an entrepreneur. Okay. Uh, rap parties, uh, people have a lot of perspective, uh, perspective about uh, rap parties. Some people call a rap parties a, a nigger. Some people look at a rap parties and uh, felt like, uh, uh, okay, I have three people watching right now. Some people even see the rap parties and uh, think these are just a bad boy. Okay, we need, to, we need to know what is going on with this culture. Okay, I will appreciate uh, if you can read this uh, write-up that I have there by Simon Ononubi. This is the boss, the CEO of Sipupe, Nigeria. Okay, I will appreciate if you can uh, read that at your leisure. But the main purpose of this tonight is uh, uh, there's a lot of things uh, that we're working on, okay? And uh, this is to benefit uh, the hip-hop heirs in the Nigerian scene. We need to change the way the game is. Oh, did I say change? Yeah. We need to support each other. The basic, uh, the main important of this is that we have a lot of people that want to go there on their own. We even have artists that also support other artists. Okay? So my point of talking tonight, I would like to hear you guys. I would like to listen to you. I don't just want to do the talking alone. This is for uh, DJ, Hip Hop Airs. Support the movement. Join the movement tonight. Okay? Yeah. Hit me hard tonight. Okay. I want to listen from you. I want to hear from you tonight. This is from Gino MOBB. Not be today. Okay, uh, still other thing that is happening in the hip hop scenes in Nigeria. A couple of uh, like, is it up to a month now ago? Uh, MI is came up with, uh, with a track. It's not a diss track, it's a wake up call to me, okay, for Nigerian artists because uh, I grew up in the um, uh, late 80s and uh, early 2000s, and I know the way the rap scene is in Nigeria. I grew up uh, uh, biting a, so, uh, some track like from Mode 9, uh, the, the days of uh, Night Flies, the days of uh, Ebron, the days that we all 
are waiting to listen to the radio when the radio is going to play that hip hop and uh all guys even ladies that grew up uh, during my time then uh we all have this love for the game and all of a sudden uh we found out that most of these hip hop airs like let me just talk about this hip -hop airs, okay uh begin to turn into an afro beat and uh I remember way back once anyone do stuff that uh, just stuff like that which said they sold out yeah said they sold out but nobody even cared about this anymore uh a, a fellow rapper is not even buying another rapper at the, uh, album you find some of these guys all around grinding go to the studio their time their energy their creativity they put everything online for for free uh a rapper in Nigeria it doesn't really have more to nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have issue of uh, I'm not trying to give anybody. I'm not trying to talk about some things that uh, other people will be thinking. Uh, oh, who is this guy? Okay. Well, uh, I'm here for tonight, and uh, in a couple of um, weeks and months uh, to follow, you see a lot of crew from uh, what we are trying to put together for the hip hop airs in Nigeria for the movement. Okay, uh, to move uh, for the movement, basically to support the artists. Tonight, I'm coming out uh, to support what I love. I'm not a rapper, I'm not a musician, I'm a businessman, okay, I'm a techie businessman. But the best way that uh, my companion ever sings, uh, not now, for a very long time, is a rap music. From rap music, that's where I got the inspiration from. I, I, I believe uh, I can let my support out, and with some other crew, we'll be coming on live uh, some couple of times. I've talked to one, two, three artists. Uh, basically in Nigeria, in Kano and some other places in Lagos uh, about this and uh, from today onward I want, uh, we want a kind of platform where uh, artists can support an artist, okay? Uh, where uh, artists can push up their material, where artists can um, have a, a, their fan base, okay? The fan base is very important. Where artists uh, will not sold out, where artists will still stay true to the culture because this is a culture that's uh, some of us have learned from okay when i say learning from it uh uh i will always cite example of some, uh, some of these other artists that i that i get to that have impacted my life big time it's called the likes of uh, gino from mobb uh sack of uh, the likes of uh, even freestyle that shogun okay uh the, the likes of uh legendary mode um it's, it's come to this time that uh, every part of my life as an entrepreneur in tech entrepreneur there's always uh, a mode nine lines uh, to just to just to just put me on that uh, on that right track to just give me that momentum for that Monday for that Tuesday in the Lagos City. Okay, so this uh, I'm coming out for the first time tonight to talk about this. Okay, I know a lot of you guys. I've seen some people that have showed up. They also come. They, they went, and I still have somebody that is still online right now. Some other guys are going to be watching this after this live. Okay basically what do we want to do with this we want things to go better we don't just want uh, artists to just start to fix up their life we want artists to start fix up their bank accounts and how do we do this unity without unity we cannot uh, uh love unity there's no artist uh, i'm talking about hip-hop in particular you have a lot of pop parties you see uh, a lot of uh organization even they when they want to give out uh, the ambassador the franchise uh, all this to this artist you find out that a lot of poor parties are getting this what are we going to do for the folk culture that uh, people have really really worked for okay as i said i'm coming out for the first time tonight to talk about this a lot of guys just know me and i'm a techie person okay uh well digital marketing stuff i would like hip-hop is the way i live Hip hop is where I think. Hip hop uh, supports what I'm doing big time, and I think uh, this is the time to just go out of the box and um, see what I can do for the movement and some of my other colleagues with IT. And I'm very sure this is going to uh, benefit the culture very, very, very much. And in a couple of weeks to come, we'll be unveiling this virtually one by one. And as I said, there's a write up today which summarizes. And third thing that is happening in the hip hop scene, not just only hip hop scene, that is happening to an entrepreneur in Nigeria. Uh, this issue of love, okay, because the lack of love will stifle your innovation. The lack of love will stifle your progress, okay. 
uh, nobody, everybody wants to go on his own. The uh, past my neighbor mentality. Make sure you read this uh, a write up by Simeon that I have at the on this same live chat. Okay, so let's just dig some stuff tonight again. Okay, no sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, dark poet, man. Yo, kill him, stop him, man. Yo, feel it. Tomorrow, yeah, I heard a lot of cats, not too many, depressed me. Sneeze on the floor, but just hold the fast to press me. Let's be on your track, trying to mess me, the less see. I'm trying to test, ask you who the best be. Me, dark poet, game over, come through in the rain, roll my money long, like Jay over, G7, same soul. I cold so the niggas think they can spit. Yeah, like my ass style, like Okay, as I was saying tonight, uh, the main purpose of this coming out on Facebook Live tonight is uh, for hip hop ears. I would like to hear from you guys. Uh, what your takes? What do you think about what is happening uh, in the uh, hip hop scene in Nigeria? You see this essay rapper that are taking over. I'm not trying to support or oppose whatever MI that talk about. And this is not about MI in any way. Okay, we all know what has happened. As I said earlier, I grew up in this country in a time uh, where every kid in the street, they, 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 on the street, want to. Want, want, want to follow this rapper, we begin to choose people that we listen to, uh, agree or to start listening to uh, the likes of uh, Idris Abdul Karim, way back, the likes of uh, Mode 9, uh, the Payback Team, uh, the Tribes Record. You know, I can't forget the big, when the, when the big picture of African music, the, a collection from uh, the Tribes, okay, came through that, uh, that year and uh, we have the likes of Shasha, uh, Timmy the Black One, okay, uh, the Doctor Seed, uh, SID, Smooth Intelligent Delivery, a whole lot of other uh, artists. And we along the line we have uh, Gino, the Hemo BB, okay, Sauce Kid, Sasha, even Gospel Rap. We have uh, BOUQ from the Next Level coming, and uh, this is an area where. Uh, most of all, we can't wait for JAJ the Michael Don for se uh, top seven jams to just listen to that voice, okay? And uh, we just found out this culture that a lot of people uh, that put their strength, their energy to build up together, this is going, okay? And uh, this uh, is, is what is bringing about uh, my coming of tonight, okay? And I have a lot of uh, artists that I also follow on Twitter, on Instagram. And I know some watch this after this, after this uh, live. And um, um, in a couple of weeks, as I said ago, we we'll see things that we are feeling concerning this and how uh, within my own team of guys, okay, we have a team of guys. I'm the only one coming up tonight. Maybe the next one that you might see me in the studio, studio with uh, a lot of guys. As I said earlier, I don't rap, but I listen to rap. I'm a, I'm a real hip hop artist, okay. Uh, I got my inspiration, a lot of things from rap, okay? There's actually um, no part of my life that cannot express with a rap line, a punch line, a walk line. And a lot of us, we love this. But seeing this kind of culture going back, see our rap artists going to the solo because the, the passion is not for the game again. So what can we do? So we have a lot of stuff, in stock, a lot of things in stock most especially not just only for nigerian music african music but basically for hip-hop we can't allow this um this that others have worked for i love what i see 44 uh, i love what i saw a couple of months ago when even they google okay i celebrate 44 anniversary of hip-hop and we can't just allow this to go like that. So let me just go on. In the beach like the floor pants. Yeah. Just to settle, settle, sex for a noise man. Uh -huh. Sex walking or walking around. Jobless. Regardless. Not my defense, but offense. Uh -huh. Breaking down the metal gate. That's just offense. Uh -huh. Got nothing but smart. Man, it might be calm.
I'm from. Uh -huh. And I got what it takes to recite the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was bad, man. I didn't choose the language. Uh -huh. All the kinks that I spill on my rhyme page. Uh -huh. Right, that can be chaos, cause in the rap page. Yeah. Maybe Johnson, it was in there. Yeah. Maybe Bates. I'm not complaining, I'm happy I got an outlet. Nah. Maybe someday I could be flying a private jet. Uh -huh. Can you put my name in your love when you want to play? The music I miss is nice. The old dead. The old dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm over killing it. I'm over killing it. Seven ten k credit if you're it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Moving forward tonight. Um, moving forward tonight. Just like most of these artists, maybe if you are watching this, you don't know me. Okay, this is just exactly what happened. You have a whole lot of fans out there. You don't know them. They know you. They have all your mixtapes. They have all your album. They have been listening to you day and night. In fact, most of them, they even think about your song in their dream. You don't know them. We need a platform whereby an artist can connect directly with the fans. You, there should be a relationship between an artist and fans. When you, as an artist, when you know your fans, you have this relationship, your artists get to know you, the artists get to uh, close to you, uh, sorry, your fans get to know you better, they tend to trust you, and there's no way they are not going to pay for your material. Yeah, they know you, they trust you, and you, they pay for your material. But if they don't, if they don't know you, uh, if you don't know them, I mean, okay, most of your fans, they know you. I can say, I, I, I don't really have the statistic, but from the experience and from other guys on the street as well, most artists don't even know their real fan. And when they perform, most times it's not their even real fan. A lot of the real fan of those, uh, most of these artists that we have right now, a lot of them are on the street. These are the fans that might not even have uh, let's say that the, the minimum for any uh, shows that is being organized by most of these artists, the minimum, I mean, the minimum is 5K. Then we have uh, this table for two, table for three, table for 10, and all sorts. But most of these, your real fans, they might not even be, be able to afford that. How do you want to close this gap? How do you want to bring up the, this gap? How do you want to close this relationship? You guys need to close this relationship. When you close the relationship, you see what is happening in every other uh, country now. For example, I will keep on emphasizing on SA. You don't just have to be a rapper. You don't just have to be doing all these things alone. You need to know your fans. You need to know your fan base. Not only know your fan base, you need to know how you can organize, like I said, a meetup for them. Everything is over. I, I, can, I, can, I can feel it. The joy of an artist, um, um, might not really be okay. An artist would prefer having 20,000, 70,000 people in a crowd waving, singing your song than have only 500 people. Maybe they are even paying you premium. That is not all what you call out for. Okay. Uh, this usual, you know, I said something uh, before. I said there's every part of my life, um, punchline, what play, where play, uh, one rap lines or the other follows it. I was, I was just thinking about it. What came to my mind is uh, Tears of Pain by Mood Knight from the, uh, from, from the track of uh, from Da Vinci Mode. Okay, in that track, he was talking about artists as a shepherd having so many sheep. Okay, in that track. I think, I think you remember the name of the artist that he features, okay? Artists, okay, uh, as a shepherd, leading your fans okay then you want to quit i see a lot of i was checking my archive uh, a, a couple of days ago and i saw a lot of artists that drop to uh lp three lp but they are nowhere to be found yeah i'm not trying to say what they do is right what they don't do is right everybody has where the shoe is painting in moha okay it is not easy we all know that it's not easy but we need to get it find a solution to this this culture cannot just die like this, okay? As I said, the summary of the entire thing I'm good that I've been talking about things. Look at this article uh, uh, on this live tonight. Look at this article. Read it. Think how you can uh, get close, how you can get uh, close a relationship with your friend, with your real friend. And um, 
I don't want to mention a lot of things about what we are coming over, but you soon get to know much about this, okay? And it's going to benefit everybody in the rap scene, everybody, basically. It's going to be generally for music, but Real Earth is going to be one of the core things that we are going to be discussing about this. Uh, there's an hashtag that has been going on precise. Okay, you get to know more about precise as it turns on faith. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm Omoto Shei James from Lagos, Nigeria. I'm not an artist, but I, I love people. But I love music. Um, IT is my also. Digital marketing is my business. Hip hop is my companion. Good night.